So in the last video, we replaced the water pump on my Type R engine. Next, we're gonna remove this water pipe right here with a thermostat, it's only got two bolts, that's about nine foot-pounds, and we're gonna replace the O-rings, all right? This guy right here, you need two of these boys, there's a part number, and it's really important to replace this while you're doing your water pump because these things get crispy and it's not fun when they get stuck. So let's remove this guy, all right? So first, these two bolts. Okay. All right. All right. That boy loose. All right. And then next, we're gonna take this Jimungo and then pop the oil cooler. This is actually the OEM oil cooler. And I'm gonna actually delete this boy because I'm gonna do a relocation kit from Gretty and then put it somewhere else. So let me just go over this way so you guys can see. Make sure it's spinning the right way. I think this is a 30 millimeter socket, so. Ooh, man, that got angry. All right, so some cars actually don't have this, so, you know, I could possibly sell this to someone who needs it. There you go. This guy. It's just a little sandwich plate, so check this out. This is the original oil cooler for the Integra Type R. All right, coolant goes into those little ports right there, recirculates it around this little canister, and then that's what cools it down. You have to take that guy out because it won't let this guy through. All right, so just give it up. Oh man, two bolts and it's always the cars with Oh, trouble. All right, water in here? Oh, so this guy's the pipe. See that thermostat goes inside here. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see it. It's got a little dark, but yeah, the O-ring is on the base right here. And then one is right there if it ever focuses. See that guy right there? That guy dirty. So let me pull this guy off real quick. Ooh, damn. Okay, so we got the water pipe nice and clean. Make sure you put some oil on the O-ring. All right, and then we're just gonna pop that on. Okay, so both sides, make sure that you lube that up because if you don't, you're gonna end up ripping the O-ring. Okay, and then we're just gonna pop this guy back in like so. Uh, it's hard to see from your angle, but this literally just drops right in that little dongle. There you go. And then we'll just feed our bolts, longest one at the top. By the way, whoever did the service on this in Japan totally botched up the water pump or the thermostat placement. So yeah, I guess not everyone in Japan is good at doing their service. All right, here we go. Pop this guy in. Just line it up. Sometimes it's hard to see, but you get this thing lined up pretty decent. There you go. Just make sure you give it a shake to make sure everything settles. Then just line it up. And finally, we're just gonna torque this guy to nine foot pounds. So super light. There you go. Yeah, it took a hot minute. Okay, okay, one more, there you go. This guy too, okay. And then now the thermostat housing also, that is also like 8.7 foot pounds, so nine foot pounds, just round up. It's okay, it's not a big deal. There you go, Dunsies.